Another video in the beginner series of using Affinity Designer for iPad. And this one, how to use an SVG file. And that's really what you're using Designer as. Designer makes excellent SVG files, that's vector files. So open Designer to select your file. And I've just got a bare template there at the moment, a bare canvas and select the correct file and then open it. Now I already have some SVG or vector files ready and waiting and I'm going to select the sports girl vector character. Now this is a series of, of cartoon characters that I've obtained from the internet. When you select it, your SVG file or vector file will appear on the screen. It will appear as one grouped file. Remember, it's made up of individual vectors, and you can see it's a group by, in the layers, it's got the little triangle next to the, the name of the layer. You can move the file as a whole if you select that file, and you can see, in that case there, the entire file is selected. So if I move that, they'll all move. Both layers, both groups are selected. Now on that right layers tab, select the SVG layer that you want. A drop-down selection of new files will appear and these are the separate SVG or curved images or vectors from the file. You have to be careful with this. If you have a raster image or a bitmap image inside that vector file or inside that vector group, it will, everything when you try and print it will mm, change slightly but we'll go into that another time. Just be aware that everything you see there is a vector file. Select one of these individual images in the Layers tab. This will drop down more layers that will break the SVG file up into even more different sections. And you can see every individual drawing there is now visible. You can also select the file you specifically want with the select tool. So maybe I only want to work on the little um, image that's on the bottom left hand side. So you select that one and you can do what you like with that. You can save it, change it, enlarge it. And when you look at the layers panel, which I'm not showing at the moment, you will see it selected. Now if you select one of the individual parts in the Layers tab, you will see it appear as selected on the screen. Now the big image of the sports girl you can see there, you can see there's an area selected, and that's visible by the blue dots, the little vertical rectangle there, and that's the group that surrounds the colouring of her clothing, just at that section. You can see the layer group is highlighted one, two, about three up from the bottom of the layers panel there. Once selected, you can now change the size or even the colour to use in your projects, or even save it for future use. And you can see I've taken the headband there and moved it out to one side. I could actually change the colour of it. I could leave it where it was and change the colour. I can move it out there and change the shape. Why would I move it out there? Makes it easy to see, of course. But it hasn't destroyed the entire image. SVG files are made up of many, many, many individual little images that all fit together to make the one image. That's what can sometimes make it appear to be quite complex to work with. It's really not if you keep your design simple. I encourage you, as I say, to experiment further. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. And my channel is there. If you decide you've lost the channel and want to come back to it, that's the address. Very easy to find. YouTube.com slash C slash Robert Chalmers. Or while you're here, just click on, click on subscribe and like right here on the channel. And every time I put up a new video, you'll be reminded.